My name is Benjamin Rosenthal. I'm a researcher at the immunology department at the medical school at Ben Gurion University in Israel. We're stationed at the Stem Cell Research Institute and uh, Regenerative Medicine. Our research is to do with the uh, transplantation, mainly stem cell transplantation. We're trying to understand the acceptance of the immune system or the rejection of the tissues. We have some unique uh, projects working in non-classical model organisms. And regarding the uh, falling of the Berlin Wall, that was a very uh, unique time for me and my family. Uh, because my I was born in Kaliningrad, a former Königsberg in the Soviet Union, and my parents tried to immigrate to Israel for a whole decade, but the Soviet Union Jews were not uh, allowed to leave. And when the perestroika started in 89, eventually they started opening the gates and we immigrated at the end of uh, October. And we actually were in Israel when uh, the Berlin Wall uh, fell. And uh, when my father saw that, he said, this is the beginning of the end of the Soviet Union and the Soviet regime. I would like to tell you about a unique project we have in our laboratory. While most of our research is to do with improving transplantation for medical applications, one of our projects is actually to take our medical tools and medical knowledge into an ecological question. Specifically, is to do stem cell based therapy for corals. And bear with me the thought and let me explain that. The idea is to take stem cells from a heat resilient genotype of corals and transplant to a heat sensitive genotype. So we will give a chance for that sensitive uh, coral to be able to survive the next heat wave. And this is exactly like we do in bone marrow transplantation in humans when we have a child that is born without T cells or B cells, for instance, we take stem cells or the bone marrow that harbor the stem cells of the blood forming stem cells, and we transplant to this uh, child, and then it can create all the rest of the cells that it needed, the T cells and the B cells, to survive and to have a full functioning immune system. So the idea here is to develop the tools that we can do stem cell transplantation for coral reefs when they have a stress, specifically heat stress, uh, and to induce resilience for the corals. While the, developing the ability of stem cell transplantation for corals, it's the base to create a future stem cell-based uh, therapy. There are still a lot of questions to add. Also, if uh, we succeed with that, at this point, we have succeeded with soft corals, what is considered to be sea anemones. We are moving into coral uh, tissues right now, but there's still questions of compatibility, immune rejection if we take from different genotypes. There's still a question of how do we apply it on larger scales and things like that. Um, I think at this point, we're still at the beginning of developing the tools, but the application of that is still somewhere there and there's still a lot of uh, questions to answer. But I do hope that this tool will also advance the basic research in corals and their resilience, but also will be able to apply actually to create resilience in the coral reefs in the future. Thank you.